up next in the UFC welterweight division matchup. a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. one, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here today. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 158 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 160 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, Mr. Untouchable. Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight, Chief? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Nice. Went for the inside leg kick. Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. They're certainly getting after it early. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. Huge 
Huge block there. Elbow. And he caught the kick. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Down to three minutes now to go in the round. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Single collar tie now. He lands a big knee to the body. Straight right hand, no good. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Missed with that attempt. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Wow. Some nice power there with the left hook upstairs. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Across the 30-second mark in our opening round. He's, he's limping now. Just missed with the left there. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Nice head kick. Now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Oh, a huge block there. Let's go. Let's go. 
Out of range with that one. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Just misses there with the left. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, massive knee to the body. That can't feel good. Oh! You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Oh, collar tie. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Just look at the angle of that nice body kick. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another oh. punch land. Oh! Outstanding output on both sides. Well, you saw his reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Here he is back in the clinch. Blocks the shot. Ooh, big shot lands. a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his... Uh. Oh, nice right hand, John. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Collar tie here. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Liver kick. Nice. And he landed the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Big head kick. Look at the entertaining scrap so far. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. 
and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Punch to the body. No good, it's blocked. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he caught the kick. And there comes the separation now. Nice great punch. Body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. With that working, no music for a good night. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Three minutes to go in round three. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, slips and then whips him. How about the upper body movement there? Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. No good. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with beating. Fifteen seconds. Unable to connect there. Final seconds here. After you take a head kick like this, that is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see 
these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Keep busy, low kick. Nice kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Shot to the body is blocked. Wow, what a kick! Hip into that kick. Oh, straight right. Real <laughs> He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. Oh, he's a He's hurt bad. Just over three minutes now to go. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. The next with a right. Got the same collar tie. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Look at the turnovers in that kick. Powerful leg kick lands. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Oh, blocks the shot. Seconds to go. Good defense. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. One minute. Both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, single collar tie here. Good punch land. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because when you start reaching. 
Huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Big kick lands. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single follow tie. Ten seconds remaining in round four. Well, you're not winning a fight necessarily when you're controlling the center of the octagon, but that's what he's trying to do, keep his opponent on the outside, and he has done just that. He has done a fantastic job of doing that because he's setting traps. As his opponent steps left, he just steps to the left. As his opponent goes right, he goes right. He does not follow. He cuts him off, trying to beat his opponent to where he's going before he gets there. This man understands foot movement. He understands traps. It's great to see someone with that type of knowledge of cornering his opponent. Next round is underway, and I'm no fighter, but these guys look pretty fresh to me. It's insane to be able to carry that workload, that pace, over five minutes and still look as fresh as both of these fighters are. Caught that kick there. And they separate. Ah. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, I'm not sure how much more damage he can take to the body. You may want to drop that elbow defensively. Of course, that opens you up to damage upstairs. Pick your poison for him here as he continues to absorb damage. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. Some nice back and forth action here. Nice kick. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, big head kick land. With that punch, no good. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go wow. finish this fight. Position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground pound. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't run. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to. Oh. He's got to go take that finish down now. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Back to his feet. Oh, straight right. Misses with that punch. Punch to the body is blocked. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Nice punch lands over the top. There's the kick, it's blocked. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Big kick lands. All 
right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Big kick. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Strong defense there to block the shot. And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop in this contest at 4 minutes, 38 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mr. Archibald. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.